Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Innkeeper, and today I'd like to welcome you all back to Darkstone. As you can see right here, we have our lovely living quarters. All of the rooms are completed to a certain extent. Some of them are a little bit more personalized than others for no particular reason other than just to sort of fill the rooms up. I believe the, the ones on the end right here are the ones that... Yes, these two right here and this one don't really have too much when it comes to decoration. Even then, you could say this one doesn't either. It's just got sort of a big pot. It's a bin. It's what it really is. It's a bin right there. I need to get the door for this one completed. If for some reason, I have forgotten it. I don't know why, but there we are. Fantastic. What are we doing today? Well, first things first, I have to make sure that Merv is not doing anything he shouldn't. Merv, can you please not eat that seed while I'm recording? I say seed. He's not really eating a seed. He's eating a shell just to try and make annoying noises. As he always does. It seems to be a common occurrence with him. So what do we need to do? Well, I got a bit lost today when I started up the game. I was like, what the hell do I need to do? I'm looking back on the videos and I'm thinking, I'm at the moment, I'm trying to expand my empire. I'm trying to get 50 people. 50 people. It's going to take me a little while. So expanding our food is the best thing to do. We have sort of realized that the the value of our food is what's important. It's what is added to the total amount of gold value. And we found out that corn is apparently one of the best when it comes to offering that value. The game, game seems really quiet to me. I'm not sure if anyone else is getting that. Hopefully not. So yeah. What I would like to do is get ourselves a few more corn patches. Mostly because the main problem with corn is that it's very slow growing. It's nutritional. It gives you, you know, your five a day. However, it takes about 12 years to the point where we die of starvation before it finishes off growing. Which is why we do need some of that fast acting stuff. But getting this done now... Well, I'd rather get it all done at the same time. But then again, I suppose doing it in these cycles isn't the worst idea in the world. I'm sort of having it be spaced apart and at the same time I need to move these things over to the other side I should also get myself a cook that's what I've been sort of working towards getting a cook is definitely a good idea so we can make some even higher quality foods but before we do that we do need to get ourselves a shepherd and I'm pretty sure we made one of our trappers into a shepherd I don't know or at least we were planning to do so don't know if we ever got round to it nope it doesn't look like we did there we are, Master Trapper right here. Definitely a Master Trapper. The deadliest catch not implemented. Is the catch itself, the in, in implementation, is in implementation? It's quite a mouthful right there. We have a lot of cleaning up to do as well. And there's a base just sort of chilling out. Having a raid over at this camp as well in the future would definitely be a cool idea. Some of these other beasts, including the uh, zombie infested corner that we have right here. It's a bit of a party. It's not exactly amazing. Well, going over the, the dwarven entrance right there. Definitely getting a nice, cozy, safe vibe. Merv right there trying to escape. Of course, he will not be successful, for there is no escape from torment. Mmm. <sighs> Beautiful. Anyway, Merv, what are you doing? Don't eat my shoes. It's not what you're supposed to do. Okay, he's gone away from them now. I'm, he may be... I don't know what he's doing right now, but he's being a bit of a, bit of a parrot, as one does. So we are not going we're going to harvest, but for some reason you can't harvest on on your uh, own ground there. Quite fascinating, did not know that. Speed the game up ever so slightly, and at the same time... So food's a big one, and also the design for our sort of little walkway right here. Try to make something similar to what we have right here, just something... Something filling It's going to make the walkway right here just seem a little bit more grand. So hopefully we can go for something there. Whether or not we get to that in today's session is, well, we may do, we may not. That's sort of, that's life, really, isn't it? It's just random. You know, one day you're saying to yourself in the middle of the night, Oh yeah, I'm going to definitely do that thing because right now I'm in the state where I want to do that thing, but because it's in the middle of the night, sort of un un unsocial hours, people will get annoyed. So let's not do that. But then you wake up, and then it's like, I don't really want to do that thing now, because I just got up, and I'm tired, and I need to go to work, and I need to do all these other things. But you know what? When I get back home, I will definitely be all right. Oh, but it's late, and I'm tired. <laughs> so let's go to bed. But I'll definitely do that thing tomorrow. <laughs> and that's... The cycle goes on. I got on a bit of a tangent right there. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say anymore. Food? I think we were talking about food. We were talking about something. I'm not sure if it was too relevant though. Those chimes. I do like how they they sort of sway right there. 
Whoa, there's a bit of hovering going on that I did not... Where, why are we... Why is it hovering there? That seems a little bit strange to me. I can't remember doing any deleting in that particular zone. Oh, look, it's all been moved. Great. And these chests aren't full, which makes sense because we didn't really set them to do anything. I guess I was planning to, but just never got around to it. Oh, we don't want to do any slicing. X-ray and this house vision mode. At the moment, everyone still sleeps in these shoddy old beds right here, which is a little bit... It's not great, won't lie. I do like the idea of just having these beds set for our military. Our military. It would be nice if I could just set as profession instead of owner. Not the end of the world. Some of them do sleep in these beds, but I would prefer if all of them went to sleep in these beds. Other than our range combatants. Oh, I do like that. Looks very box boxy. Whoever has a cover that perfectly squared? That doesn't make any sense to me. Merv, do you understand? Everything about everything right now doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway. I continue to talk about things that do not matter. As always. So we do wish to move these berry bushes. For now, I think I will just sort of... I can move them along here. But then I'll probably forget about them. And I, I imagine sort of harvesting was going to be a pain. Oh no, it's fine. So we can harvest from there. They will not be in the way. Or, of course, I can just put them inside the mountain, which might be a good idea. We also have a bunch of crates right here that need moving. Because they are currently filled with all sorts of tomfoolery. Of which we do not wish to deal with at the moment. We could probably buy some wood. Eh, do I need to buy wood? It's too late now. I can't really take it back. Merv right now... Probably telling me in his weird parrot language that I'm a complete and utter dolt for buying wood. But you know what? I feel happy about it. At the moment, our food is still not high enough, but we have yet to harvest all of this lovely corn. It's not yet. It's not there yet. And also this big plot that we have. What do you want, parrot? Do you wish to feast on the blood of your enemies? I'm sorry, you can't do that. Get back. You have your own water. I have mine. Hmm. Something else I've been doing lately is just forgetting that I have water there. So, like, every time... Well, not lately. Sometimes I'll just sort of chow down. Not really chow down. I will just quench my first with the lovely water. And then after a while, I'll just forget I have water there. As I already stated. Tell you what, I'm going to get the walkway done here. I'm feeling like building some... some Not walkway. The, the walls. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. It's going, to be, it's going to be quite fun. I'm interested to see what I'm going to come up with. What I like the idea of doing is making some sort of, you know, going with what our usual design is, which is the sort of dwarven squares. So if we go over to our build tool, we're going to keep the game running to the best of our ability while building, simply because then we can have our food grow in the background and hopefully get some more people. So what I would like to do is this. So have it poke out like that in the middle section and then probably have it Come on. I mean, it depends really. I don't want to use too much of this color. Could I do that? I don't really think... I don't feel like I can get away with that. Just because it's a much smaller space. If you look over here, the design is that on the top, we sort of have it one block away. But actually, we're using this color. Is that tuna? I can't tell. I do like using the gunmetal, though, as sort of the, the base for what we're doing here. So what I feel like is a good idea is if we... Just sort of cover up like this. There we are. I think that looks quite nice. Now, the reason I'm not sort of completely going around the stone, you see right here, we're having sort of two bits of stone sticking out, is because I feel like it might overshadow, uh, overshadow our nice little sort of pillar design that we're using here. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I don't want to overshadow the pillar design. So there we are. Also, it looks like we've got something going on right here. Hmm, that's pretty cool looking. I quite like that. Can we get away with it being a dwarven design, however? I feel like we can not, no. I feel like it sort of gets rid of the grand archways for the, the dwarven buildings that we have right here. And I do not wish to lower the value of our structures by adding too much flair. Uh, well, actually not too much flair, too much repetition to our design. 
So we will continue on our merry way away from that philosophy and instead just make these archways, see where it goes from there. Maybe eventually we could probably go on a date or something like that. That might be quite interesting. Until then, however, I will continue to... Um, what the hell? Hmm. Screwed up there already. Does it actually go along by two there? It does. Okay. Don't know how I feel about that. Little bit iffy. We will find out if it's a good idea. But until then, however, we will just sort of live our lives in some level of cognitive dissonance. Of which, you know, it wouldn't really work out for us so much. But you know what? I'm fine with that. Because that's the whole point. <laughs> that, is, that is the whole point. All right, we've reached the end right here. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. It's been a while since we've done any building. We've mostly been expanding our efforts. Then again, I say it's been a while. We did just make a front gate. So, a gate and a wall. So, there we go. Not really that long. I feel like we've had a good ratio of building and actual game time. I mean, building is technically game time. But I mean, you know, mucking around with the herflings, telling them to fight to the death against our foes for the greater good. The greater good. It's always for the greater good. I still feel like the game is really quiet. This may affect my sound, which would be a little bit annoying. But oh well, I feel like I'm on a roll right now. I've got those creative juices flowing, as it were. Oh yeah, they're, they're looking good. I quite like them. So now we can use the tuner, and we can just connect them up from the top right here. Ah, oh, that looks pretty nice, actually. Sort of nicely grooved in, especially with these, these corners right here that fit with the arch. Very pretty. Oh, we're missing a bit right there. It does happen. It most certainly does happen. This bit's going to be quite interesting. Considering I have to do that. Um, I mean, for now, we could just sort of have it come along like this, just so I know that we have the numbers done correctly. Now, all the numbers are added up, even though I'm not really paying attention to the numbers here. Something doesn't seem right. No? Okay. Just my brain looking at things that aren't there. It usually happens. But then I saw a spooky ghost, and then it's like, oh, no. Spooky ghost, that's not great. It's very spooky. Because, of course, it's a spooky ghost. It's not a not spooky ghost, otherwise I would specify that it's a not spooky ghost. Level 4 right there with the farmer. Fantastic. You get a HP upgrade. I'm not sure how worthwhile that really is. Don't need anything from you right now, although I probably could sell some stuff. How's our food looking? Oh, that is not the food bit. That is actual person. Owen Rommel. How is our food? <laughs> oh, okay. That's good. So we should be able to get a new person. Hopefully, they don't spawn in the middle of nowhere. They most probably will, however, and we will be very sad. In fact, they'll probably spawn within these bastards. What the hell's over here? Oh, flowers. Thought it was some ancient mineral that seems to have surfaced. Just sort of plunged its way through. Ripping through the landscape. Almost like a Tiberian flower. Fantastic. Come on. Where's the prompt? There we are. Net worth is very high. Welcome. Oh, fuck. <laughs> right then, right. Rescue operation once again. We will pause the game. Because we do wish to just spawn these in. Right. Insta build you. You and you. I don't know why they spawn in areas where they... They just can't get to us. It seems really silly to me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Quickly. Run for it. You can make it, whoever you are. You can make it if you try, just the two of us. You and I. Oh, look, there's a little bit of tomfoolery going on right there. Run, 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 run. Okay. Pause. Okay, then. Now, they're probably going to die anyway. Because I don't think they're faster than that bastard. 
Ooh, but you know what? He's running after other people now. So you know what? They may survive. If our knights get there in time and our archers. There we are. Fantastic. Who's low on health? Oh, just healed in time. That's what the, the role play of a well north, a Mel North Point right here. They're running away from a band of orcs. The land or their town, nearby town, was pillaged. But no longer will that be a curse upon you. Hopefully, none in, you didn't have any family members there, but you probably did. And they were most probably horribly massacred. It's a very depressing story, of course. And all of you just chilling out right there, hovering over the abyss. I would like to get some of our archers over here. Because I do believe it will probably be very fortuitous of us. Unfortunately, they are a band of colors right there. It's quite pretty. But they are destroying the, the zombie party. Actual bastards. There are a lot of them. Right, unfortunately, the ogre right there is using its bran to try and avoid justice. Not really the kind of situation I'd prefer to be in. Really, I'd prefer to say prefer properly. It's not for her. Which is what I just said there. Destroy. Nothing happened. Now, I don't think destroying that is cheating. Because having the game spawn a bastard all the way over there. Now, that's cheating. I mean a bastard. They were a bastard. Now, they're a dwarfling. So, yeah. They're different. You can't have dwarven bastards. I don't know why you can't. Just seems like a really weird rule to me. I don't know who came up with it. They're a bit strange, I imagine. But there we are. Very strange rule, law, thing. Okay. So now, what we what do we wish to do? Well, we wish to, to do the sort of weird block, you know, dwarven design that we have been going along with. Oh, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. It makes me happy. And now we've got to find a way to fill in the middle, which should be fairly simple. And by that, I mean the sort of middle sections that we have right here. But it's all about just sort of copying the design that we already currently have. This will most probably be changed. Mm, yeah, that, that middle bit's going to have to be a bit odd. Hello, Merv. Are we still in the battle? What's going on? What the hell's happening? We're apparently in a fight. We're having a lot of lag because of it. Is it because these ogres... Is it a pathfinding issue? May need to go out and back in. Which I hate doing. Hmm. Little bit annoying. The game is... Seems really slow. It is very slow. Okay, then. I will be right back. Well, I say be right back. I guess this is episode one. So I will see you in the next episode. <laughs> well, not episode one. Episode 55,000. 55, but Merv, I know I should go, but I keep giving myself weird outro tangents. I'll see you next episode.